Center left, Clay Hall. Ryan, have you decided that, that, uh, that Kyle McCord is the guy given the, I mean, Devin got in just the two series, one in mop-up duty? Yeah, I, you know, I would have liked to have seen uh, Devin play a little bit more, but um, I just felt like, you know, we went three and out there, and then um, I want. I was worried that we weren't going to be able to get into a rhythm. We already felt a little clunky early on, missed some short yardage situations, didn't convert on some third downs. And so um, I didn't want to run the risk of putting ourselves in a bad spot uh, by continually moving those guys in and out. Um, but going in, you know, really wanted to play Devin some more. Uh, would like to do that moving forward. But like I said from the beginning, we got to make sure we're doing what's right for the team, what's right for Ohio State, and I felt like that was the right call at the time. Right next door, Tim May. Yeah, uh, Ryan, second half, the guys got stuffed on that fourth. I, I can't remember exactly the end of the game. Woodburn will force the two down on their end instead of kicking a field goal. It might have been the first half. But bottom line, it was the first what, half. What was, yeah. yeah, what was what was kind of the thinking there? Is that something with your offensive line? What was, well, what was I, think, I think it was on the 29-yard line. Yeah. And I felt like that was probably on the outer edge of, of Jaden's um, field goal range. So I felt like at that point, um, you know, that was the right spot to go for it. It was fourth and two. I was disappointed that we didn't convert on that. On that, I was convert, disappointed we didn't convert on the third down first. Uh, but I was ready to go for it on fourth down based on where the ball was. If it was another 10 yards in, we probably would have kicked the field goal. And based on the way the second half went, do you feel better about your offense than you did at halftime? I and mean, what, what's your, what are your thought patterns right now? Um, mixed bag, I guess, right now. Um, you know, I thought there were some good things. Um, but we've got to play better, better situational football. We've got to finish in the red zone. We've got to finish in short yardage, and we've got to do a better job on third down. And if we can do that, then certainly um, you know, we'll do better. You know, we need to run the football. Uh, I thought there was times you know, um, it was kind of by committee today. You know, those games seem to go fast. You know, they, they, they had 54 total plays. We had 67. But um, man, it just it's, it seems to go fast. And um, you know, I guess we ended up with about, uh, let's see, about 27 rushes and about 33 passes, um, which is decent balance right there. Chip ended up with about seven yards of carry. The other guys were just south of four yards of carry. Uh, we'd like to see all that, you know, north of five or six yards of carry. Then we're really cooking. So, um, you know, we're, we know what we need to do in order to win, um, you know, down the stretch, play great defense, run the football, and um, we'll continue to work to do that. But. Um, like I said on the radio, it's okay for me to be excited about great defense, you know. Yeah. And I thought our defense played really well, and so I'm excited about that. I think what we talked about is it's a different looking defense. You know, we got some good length out there. We got our hands on some balls early. Um, you know, they took some shots early. I thought we were there, ready to make the play. Uh, defensive line was disruptive, so um, lots to grow on. You know, you got to get that first win. And um, anytime you're dealing with a new quarterback and some guys in new spots, conference game on the road, you know, uh, it's good to get that one under your belt. Rob Aller, dispatch. Ryan, it was kind of new for you too. No Kevin Wilson. I mean, how did the whole play calling thing play out that way? I mean, did Brian really get was he the new Kevin Wilson, or did it have a different dynamic? Yeah, yeah. It, um, you know, a lot of great feedback uh, from Brian. You know, b between the series, we talk about it. Um, so, you know, there was a lot of dead, um, like there was some injuries, and so then we got these timeouts. There was a lot of times we were over by the sideline talking about each play. I felt like it just kind of that way today for whatever reason. I don't know if that's because the clock's running and the TV timeouts happen, but it just seemed like we were over on the sideline a lot. But uh, during those times, we're co constantly having conversation. Uh, Justin Fry is very much involved and the guys upstairs. Um, so you know, it was a team effort, but um, you know, and a good start. But as we, as we start to get into some of the games in the next couple of weeks, you know, we'll start to uh, figure out how it's all going to work out moving forward. But um, like I said before, we got to do what's best to win. And, Brian's doing a great job. It was pretty seamless then? Or yeah. No, I mean, you know, you look, you know, you'd like to have more than 23 points. So what, what, I don't know if that's the operation or what. I think that's part of uh, identifying week one, what's going on. Uh, the number one goal is to get a win today. Didn't, didn't know exactly how it was going to play out. Glad we got the win, but now we got to get better. Nathan Barrett, Cleveland.com. How did you feel about the way Kyle played? What did you like? What needs to be better? Um, I thought in the third quarter, uh, during those couple of drives, we got into a rhythm. He made some nice throws. Uh, made the nice throw to Marvin that, um, you know, the refs told me that he got pushed out of bounds or, or uh, he, he put himself out of bounds. I'd like to see the film. Um, I thought that was a nice throw. But then we came right back and, and scored right after that, which is good. It's a good sign because uh, it can be deflated when you throw a touchdown and you got to come back and do it again. Uh, that was good. I thought the throw down the middle to, um, to Cade. It was a really nice throw. Uh, that was big. Um, 
you know, there was some plays certainly we want to have back. You know, I, I think we'll have to again look at the film and see. I think it was it's a mixed bag overall. Going to see if it was a mixed bag of the positive or negative. You know, and that's that's part of watching the film. Sometimes you think coming out of the game that something happened and uh, you didn't quite see it that way on the film. So we'll get on it, identify it, and move forward. Austin Ward, Rivals. Right, you said a mixed bag a couple times. How, how much were you anticipating it looking like that today? It was an opener, it's a big one on the road. I know you probably want better, but yes. did you anticipate some of this today? Yes, but I want better, like you said. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did anticipate some of this. Yeah. Um, saw it going a little the way it did, but I thought we would we, we, we'd get more points. I thought we would convert some of those. And um, we're used to doing that here. Dan Hope, Levin Warriors. Ryan, you mentioned the third down struggles a couple of times. Is there anything that sticks out to you about why you guys weren't able to convert those situations? Well, I know when you get off schedule and it's third and nine, third and ten, um, you know, the, the percentages there go way down. But we expect on third and three, third and two, third and one to convert about 80% of the time. Or not, that puts us completely out of whack. And that happened today. And, and uh, that can't happen moving forward. Uh, Pat Murphy, 24 7 Sports. Ryan, you mentioned the, the running backs. How do you see that playing out going forward? I know it's the first game, but obviously you saw one guy get into a, a rhythm. Do you, do you feel like you guys will have that as a feel, or will one guy kind of carry the load? No, I mean, you know, Trey's the starter, and, and, and Mayan's right there, and you can see what Chip can do. Um, it's good to have multiple backs. It, it was hot today, especially in the first half. Um, and so, you know, Tony, Tony <laughs> kind of rotated them, and, and that was good. Um, you know, there was a couple drives there that, you know, we – Move the ball down the field. I forget how many drives they were, and it was about time to, to, to go with a new back because of how long those drives were. Um, so, uh, you know, I, it, it's it's going to be a long season. They're all going to carry it, but but Trey, um, you know, is is the starter. Mine's right there, and Chip's right there as well. So, um, you know, I don't think Dallin uh, got a bunch of work today either. He's you know he's going to have to play. You know, we only have one football, but but you know, all those guys are, are deserving. Uh, in the back, Spencer Holbrook on three. Uh, right. In the last few years, even the first game, you guys seem to just have a little bit of uh, clunkiness, I guess. Uh, is that something that, that you expect? Is it something that you've tried to iron out? And, and what do you think the, the common thread there is? Because now it seems like each year, it, the first game just seems kind of a little, little off. Well, I, I think what, what you want to do in the first game, and, and that was part of one of our goals this year, is win the first game because it is kind of that way. Um, I think back on you know, Justin's first start in the FAU game. That was a clunky game. I forget what the final was there. I think it was 20-something to three. Um, you know, the Notre Dame game was a top five game, so that was a little bit different. You know, these, those games you're just trying to win. Uh, the Minnesota game was, again, a conference road, a conference road game in a you know, really tough environment. Uh, so but when you look at those games, you, you just got to get the first win, and that's really what you, what you need to do. And then you identify it because there's just unknowns when you have – um, guys who are starting for the first time, and then you can kind of identify it and grow from there. So um, the goal is to win the first game. You know, you don't need to be playing your best football in the first game of the year, but you got to grow from it. you got to make sure that wins uh, under your belt because, you know, in a few weeks, nobody cares. You know, the win's a win, and then you move on. But uh, the goal is to get it, and then we got to grow. Immediately after the game, even, does it make you feel a little better knowing that you had these kind of struggles in week one before and you guys have gotten a lot better from there? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the journey. That's the part I like, you know, going back now and figuring out, okay, wh where are we at? What did we anticipate? Um, what you can do is take a bunch of chances and, and be reckless and all of a sudden put yourself at risk of losing a game. Can't do that. Probably could have been a little bit more aggressive at times today, but the number one goal is to get the win and then move forward. Uh, there's going to have to be times where we're going to have to be more aggressive for sure. Uh, but, you know, I'm talking offense. I mean, I, I love the defense. So, I mean, I'm allowed to talk about the defense, so I want to smile. And, I mean, if we play defense like this, we're going to have a chance. Um, certainly bigger challenges ahead. But um, I thought Tom did a nice job of, of replacing, um, you know, a good portion of his team and getting them game ready in the first game. You know, he did a nice job in that. And he's a very good coach, so uh, a lot of respect for them. I mean, this is a conference game on the road. Over to the right, Cameron T. Robinson, the athletic. Brian, something that you brought up really all summer, we talked a lot about how – Getting a quarterback in a game is completely different than practice. Obviously, you want to see how a big part of seeing how they react to adversity. Yeah. How did you see Kyle react? Obviously, to the big and then uh, throughout the game. I mean, some good things. Yeah, some good things in there. I mean, the, the pick was on fourth down, so it uh, didn't drop the way we'd like to. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to blame him for that. Um, you know, if it went back the other way, it would have been a disaster. But we got him on the ground, so 
Um, that was a fourth down deal. Um, you know, he, he did make a play uh, with his feet on uh, one of the play action. I thought that was good. Um, you know, I, I know he wants to have a couple reads back, a couple things back, but um, you know, until you really watch the film, it's hard to evaluate exactly how the overall body work was in the game. And um, I think that's kind of what I felt like. You know, when, when I was trying to figure out whether to get Devin or not in there or not. You know, when you get those first couple um, drives under your belt, you kind of get into the rhythm of the game. And I didn't want to have Devin go through that as well. And then all of a sudden, we're in the, the second half and we're in a dogfight. Neither of them are in the rhythm. So that's that was my gut, and, and I went with it. Was the plan always to play Devin like when you put him in? Was that always that yeah, in my mind, I, you know, I wanted to get him in in the, probably the third series and, and then probably the fifth or sixth, and, and it just didn't quite work out that way. So, um, you know, we'll reevaluate re it this week. Folks, I'm going to keep Coach for a couple more questions. Players are getting ready to, to come out. JT is ready. Cade uh, Stover is ready. But I'm going to go. So if anybody wants to move on, just kind of duck and, and quietly uh, you can exit. Otherwise, I'm going to go to the left field. We're going to win to Columbus Dispatch. There was a lot of focus on the offensive line. Uh, has Again, got to look at the film. I, um, I, I know where we need to be. We're not there yet, for sure. Um, but got to look at the film and, and see and identify it. You know, I, I usually, if I say something right now, it's usually not accurate because um, you know you have a couple plays in mind that certainly you want to have back. But sometimes there's different reasons for that. Um, and you know, I, I'll give um, you know Matt and, and Tom a lot of credit. You know, they, they you know changed up some things in terms of what they were doing. And so when you you rep over and over certain things and they change it up a little bit, you know that that can get you off. And um, you know some of those guys don't have a ton of experience to fall back on. And um, so we'll we'll figure out how they all grade it out. But um, I know in order to win championships, we're gonna have to get better. We'll go over to the right, Stephen Means, Cleveland.com. Right, just a little bit more off the clock. Was that about where you expected them to be though, the way they played today? Uh, no, my, no, my expectation, um, you know, my expectation is you know we, you know, we run for 250, you know, throw for 300, and score 50 points. So uh, we didn't do that today, but at the same time we did win, and it was a start. And we're going to wrap it up, Joey Kaufman, Columbus Dispatch. Uh, the player was Marvin Keegan in the first half, laying on shoulders. Look like you obviously coming back in. Did that affect him at all in the second half? And the I, I don't believe I don't believe it affected him anymore. Coach, thank you yep, very much. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.